Welcome to the Vital Life Show. I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, and today I'm going to give you five good reasons to quit coffee. Now, you may be asking, well, how much coffee? Well, you know, if you're a one coffee a day type of person, maybe you're okay with having that one cup of day. But unfortunately, what happens when you're drinking coffee, you crave it more and more. And one of the reasons for this is that it's actually stressing out your adrenal glands. And the adrenal glands, are active in times of stress. They're supposed to protect you from running away from that bear, you know, that's chasing you. But with increased cortisol levels in the adrenals, what happens is that we actually will start to store more abdominal fat. We're in the fight or flight response, and this causes increased sugar in the bloodstream. And this was, you know, historically so that we could run away from that bear that was chasing us. But because of that now increased insulin and trying to get that sugar out of the blood, this causes that backlash effect of your insulin going up and down and you actually start to crave more coffee, you start to crave more sweets. And for people that actually quit coffee completely, you actually find that you have less and less craving for some of those bad foods and those, and those sugars because you're not looking always for that next hit of raising up those adrenals again. So give it a try. One of the other things is that unfortunately when you drink coffee, most people will add things like cream, like sugar, like artificial sweeteners. Those artificial sweeteners, especially sucralose, what it does is it actually kills our good gut flora and that then is robbing you of your immunity but also your ability to digest your food. So another reason why you may be gaining weight if you're drinking coffee, especially if you're using those artificial sweeteners. Coffee also makes PMS worse for women, so this is a problem. And it also leaches your important minerals. So this is one of the things, you know, whether it's your calcium, your magnesium, you need these things for good strong bones and especially for women as well, we want to have good strong bones. So coffee could be depleting us of these essential nutrients. So those were five great reasons to quit coffee. Hey, if you have coffee once in a while with caffeine, then it's probably okay. But you know, switch to natural decaf, get some of those coffee alternatives, you'll feel much healthier and maybe some of that weight will come off as well. So thanks for joining me today. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel, give us a big thumbs up. And of course, follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, like us on Facebook as well, and go to our website. So on vitatree.com, we have a whole host of whole food natural supplements that are very different from the other supplements out there on the market, but you can ask Dr. Bowering. So go to that section, ask Dr. Bowering. You can ask myself and our Vitatree experts your questions about helping yourself naturally. Make sure that you also check out our other videos. We have so many videos going on here and millions of millions of views now. So thank you for that and share the videos with your friends as well. Thanks for joining me today.